What's up YouTube, Andre here guys, back with another video. Now, as much as I love the Sony XZ2 and I think it's a fantastic device, I've been using it for a couple of days now and there are five things that are kind of bugging me about the device which I really hate. So let's get straight into it. Now this first thing is to do with the design and don't get me wrong, this design has definitely grown on me and I'm absolutely loving it. But the thing that annoys me is that every time you place the exit to on a table or a flat surface, this device just loves to spin. And this is to do with that curved back. Now how serious can a guy really look when he goes to a bar or on a date, you place the phone on a table and it continues to spin. And I know that it can probably be easily fixed with a simple case, but personally, I really don't like having cases on my phone and it's just gonna make the phone that much thicker. And you're probably thinking that I could just place the phone face down on a table, which will stop the spinning. But that's beside the point and it's not something that I'm used to. Now moving on to number two, the second thing that I hate is the 3.5mm headphone jack. Now I don't actually mind not having it on my phone because I tend to have everything Bluetooth anyway. But if you're taking out the headphone jack there has to be a good reason. For instance, you can't fit the 3.5mm headphone jack on the phone because the device is too thin. However, the XZ2 is almost 4mm thicker than the XZ1 and still they decided to remove the 3.5mm port. So if you're taking out the 3.5mm port, you have to have a good reason. This is a very controversial thing right now. There's a lot of people who don't mind it, but there's also a lot of people who really love the 3.5mm port. So I don't see a good reason why Sony would have needed to take out a headphone jack. Now the third thing that I hate about this device is something that actually bothered me with the XZ Premium 2, and that is to do with removing the actual SIM card from the phone. Every time you want to remove the SIM card, the phone restarts. Even if you just want to take out the micro SD card, the phone restarts. Now I am lucky enough to be able to travel quite a bit and whichever country I go to, I tend to use a local SIM card. So if I want to change my SIM card, which is something that I do quite often, the phone would restart up to two times just for one change. Now I understand that this may be a security measure, but I don't have this problem with an iPhone or a Samsung. This is more of a personal thing, most people may not even come across this problem at all. Now moving on to number four, the fourth thing that I hate is the position of the fingerprint scanner. I have quite large hands and naturally when I pick up the device, more often than not, my index finger just falls over the camera lens. I feel as if I have to force my finger down to reach the scanner. And also, as a result of this, it just adds a ton of smudges to the actual camera lens. Now, I absolutely love the fingerprint scanner on the XZ Premium. It was embedded into the power button on the side of the phone. That worked really great and really easy to access. Now, number five is the way in which you capture super slow motion video. And I stress the way in which you capture because I absolutely love the feature of super slow motion in full HD. After using the Samsung S9 with 960 frames per second, I found it much easier to get the perfect slow motion shot. You press the record button, once the middle square is yellow and it detects movement, it automatically starts to capture everything in super slow motion. However, with the XZ2, you press record and then press the super slow motion button when you want to capture in 960 frames per second. But getting the timing right for this shot is very difficult and you often have to do it multiple times just to get it right. Now, this is not so much of a hate, but something that would make using the super slow motion feature a little bit easier. Amazing guys, so these are my personal things that I would love to change with the XZ2. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and also let me know what you would like to change about the XZ2. Now, remember, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for watching and have a good day.